Boom! Welcome back. Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. So I just fit into the frame, and if I step over here, my head gets cut off. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. I've been jumping back and forth trying to find the best way to record. I had a little thing set up, and it went a bit haywire and stopped recording part way through. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm back. I'm back in my room. Back with my board. We're not here to take part. We're here to take over. So. I tried to find the best way to record this. The camera is a little bit low, so if it looks like I have a double chin, so it's quarantine time, guys. I've just been eating too much. So today, we're going to have a couple of things to prepare us for what our assessment is going to be by the end, for the end of the term. I'm feeling a little bit lazy. I'm going to go grab myself a chair. And I guarantee I'm not going to remember to edit this out of the video, so I'm just going to apologize to all of you guys. I'm also going to apologize for me awkwardly moving up and pressing the stop record button later. Like I said, I'm at school today, so all of my um, high-tech recording stuff is at home. I'm sorry. Now, we have been looking at persuasive paragraphs. I've been trying to think of a way that we can prepare you guys for the end of term. How can we find how much you've learnt this term? I thought we can get you guys to write out a boring paragraph, but I don't want to put you guys to sleep. So, you guys are going to make an advertisement and a small speech. You don't have to read your speech out. If you want to, awesome bonus points, but you don't have to. The advertisement is going to be on bottled water. So we're going to do a lot of prep work talking about bottled water and tap water, comparing the two, finding out which one's better and why. And we're going to practice writing out our peel paragraphs on this topic. So today, we're just going to have a little bit of, a, of an information session looking at bottled water and tap water. So, time to lose the chair. Now, tap water versus, sorry, before we jump onto that, I can't see, I hope it's not too blurry. Doesn't look too blurry. Boom, our peel paragraphs we should be looking at. Every paragraph should have a point. Explain, example, and a link. Every single paragraph that you write should have all four of these elements. Point, what are you talking about? Why am I even listening to you? I'm listening to you because. Explain, don't just tell me that something is the case. Explain why, tell me why. Tell me more, tell me more. Then we get to our example. Show me where this is happening. Show me where it's real. Let me see it. Like, sell it to me. And then finally our link is where we link it back to the question. This is how we can see that um, tap water is better than bottled water. Now, I want you guys to write. Peel down in your book. Point, example, sorry, point, explain, example, link. In your book, we're going to write it regularly, so we always have something to come back to. Get this in your book. Now, to move on from that, I'm going to turn my back to the to the screen, so I apologize. Uh, I've always been told it's rude to have your back to people, so I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Tap water versus bottled water is our heading. Tap water, what's up, versus bottled water. We're going to have a look at some different points. We're going to look at the positives and the negatives. So I'm going to write some of the points up. You have to tell me if they're positive, so if they're good things, or if they're negative, if they're bad things. And I really hope you guys can see this in the YouTube video. If not, make it full screen. Zoom in on different parts if you have to. So, the first thing about bottled water, one thing that you might not know. Is it? Yes, it is. More than half. Of all bottled water comes from the tap. We're going to draw a little black circle there. More than half of all bottled water comes from the tap. 
That means you're paying for someone else to get a little bit of plastic, stick it under the tap, fill it up, flip a lid on it and sell it in a shop. When we talk about bottled water, it creates a lot of plastic pollution. So many sections of the ocean are filled with plastics, a lot of them coming from bottled water. That's what we call a single-use plastic. I'm going to write in brackets. Single-use plastics. One of the other things that the plastic from bottled water gives us are CFCs. Well, they have CFCs in them, but they don't give us CFCs. The bottles have, yeah, really CFCs. These are, and I'm going to try and break it down to you in a way that might help you understand. CFCs are small bits of plastic that get broken down off the bottle, usually when they, they get really hot. The CFCs get released into the water, you drink them and they make you sick. Some science has even shown that they can be um, the cancer causes. So CFCs, and I'm going to use a big word here, microscopic plastic. That makes its way into the water. which makes people sick. Now, I'm going to apologize for this because some of you guys might, you know, not be too happy. But if you can't read the board from over there, uh, where do I, how do I tilt it? Just there. So bottled water. More than half of all bottled water comes from the tap. It's hard to read backwards. Creates. Creates a lot of plastic pollution. And then we have single-use plastics. And then if I can move my shoulder out of the way, I, I need to be further out for this one. CFCs. Micro microscopic plastic that makes its way into the water which makes people sick. So I'm going to ask you guys to get that down in your workbooks. Pause it on the specific section that you need. Yep, my face is making weird faces because I'm trying to get the computer back to where it was. And I think that's it. Like I said last time, please don't like take snapshots of my face and meme me. My face does weird things sometimes. I can't help it. All right, now we're going to have a look at some thoughts about tap water. So tap water has, all right, over here, can you see? Yes, you can. It has good things added to it. Such as. What's the one thing in tap water that helps our teeth out? Great answer, fluoride. I'm gonna show you, it doesn't help with teeth, it helps your teeth. So after not having done that for a long time, rubbing out the board with my hand was a feeling that I oddly missed. I know that's super strange, but I haven't had to rub out a whiteboard in a long time. And it does take a lot more time to write it out on a board than on a book or on my computer. So tap water has good things added to it. One of the big things is fluoride, which helps our teeth and makes them nice and strong. Next, we're going to look at the cost of tap water compared to bottled water. So, before I put my answer up on the board, 
How much do you think it costs for a litre of bottled water compared to a litre of tap water? Close. Close. Yeah, I'm just pretending people are giving me answers. So tap water... Costs, yep, I was right, 0.01 dollar. That is one cent per litre, per 1,000 millilitres, one cent. One cent per litre. I'm going to leave this, board, this word on the board, we're going to come back to it. Whereas, bottled water, costs, Bottled water costs $2.53 per litre. Now, I'm not super rich, even if I was. I'd rather spend one cent than 253 cents for a litre. Jeez. <laughs> Next, if you drink tap water, you can use a Reusable bottle. Now when we talk about our reusable bottles, we need to remember what our bottles represent more than just us and more than just our, than, than just holding water. Being a teacher, I've seen some really cool, really funky designs. You can have a bottle that shows who you are as a person, a really fun bottle. My favorite auntie gave me a bottle that represented who I am as a person. It was black. <laughs> and I'm not saying that I'm a black hearted person, but I do wear a lot of black. So auntie, thank you so much for that bottle. I still use it every day. <laughs> so you can use a reusable bottle and make it your own. One of the big things, oh, and it hurts my knees to get down like this. It doesn't really, but it's good. For it's fun pretending I'm old. Tap water gets tested so much more regularly than bottled water. So what this means is that if there is something in the tap water that's not good for you, we're going to find it really quickly. If there's something that might make you sick in the tap water, we're going to find it really quickly. In the bottled water though, if there's something there that's not right, because it doesn't get tested as often, it could make a lot of people sick. Whereas with the tap water, the tests are happening so frequently that it's very unlikely to make people sick. So, in your workbooks, what I want from you, I want you to write first all of this down. I'm going to, you know what, I'll do this very quickly. Okay, so before we move on, where am I? Where am I? There we go. So tap water, it has good things added to it. Fluoride in tap water. Sorry. It's odd because I'm sort of, it's flipped on my screen, but yeah, anyway. Fluoride in tap water helps your teeth. If I move my whole body, it makes it easier to manage this. Where is it? Tap water costs one cent per liter, whereas bottled water costs $2.53 per liter. And I was I, lucky I remembered to come back to the word whereas. The word whereas is used when we're comparing two things. We're saying one thing has one quality, whereas another thing has a very different one. So we're saying here that tap water is really, really cheap, whereas comparing it to bottled water, which is a lot more expensive. 
Then we have using a reusable bottle and showing our own personality and flair. And tap water gets tested more regularly than bottled water. If you need to pause the video to write any of those sections down, go right ahead. Are we still in the frame? No, it moved. Sorry. Okay. If you need to pause the video to go through any of those points, go right ahead. This is going to be your work for the remainder of this lesson. I want four peel paragraphs. Any of these points, you need to pick four of them. We're writing four peel paragraphs. I'm going to write it over here. I learned from my mass videos that green doesn't show on the board, so he's hoping red does. Can you see it? Oh, I'm going to come in close anyway. Right, four peel paragraphs. Showing why tap water is better than bottled water. So this is our work for the rest of the lesson. So when this video stops, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, there we go. No, there we go. Pause the video if you need to get that written down. You're going to write four peel paragraphs. What I want, what I want in your four peel paragraphs in one of our other videos, we looked at writing a little p, a little e, a little e, and a little l on the sentences that they matched up with. For our point, we wrote our little p, our example, our explain, two little e's, and our l for our link sentence. To make sure that you have all four parts, I want you to write those four letters on top of the sentences that they match up with. All of these paragraphs should have at least four sentences I would even advise you guys to have six sentences for each one. That means that you should be writing at least 16 sentences all up. That means 16 full stops, 16 capital letters. This video has only gone for 17 minutes, which means that so far, 17 minutes 40, which means that you have the rest of this block to work on your paragraphs. If you need some help, please feel free to email me or your classroom teacher or contact us on the Google Classroom. In any case, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Now here's the awkward part where I look for the stop button. <laughs> Bye.